Well, LeVar, we've heard the rumors of yeah. LeBron possibly coming uh, to L.A. this uh, summer. Mm. Do you think that it will happen? I don't think it'll happen. I know it's going to happen. Mm. I told you to call him L.A. LeBron. Yeah. I told you to call him L.A. LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> and why did you think that? What, what gave I, you that I, indication? Well, for him to be considered better than Jordan, I think he has to be, his narrative has to be everywhere he's went, he's won. Mm -hmm. But as far as winning six championships in the same place, so, so you're not going to do it in Cleveland. Nobody cares now because he's been to the finals too many times. Mm -hmm. So I think for to justify that he's the best player in the world ever, he got to win a couple of more championships somewhere else. So there has been a suggestion that Kevin Durant, who at this moment is an unrestricted free agent, might want to think about joining forces with LeBron with the Lakers. Could you see that happening, and how do you think that would fly? Uh, NBA won't let that happen. Oh, that's what Shannon that's, suggested. That. NBA won't let that happen. <laughs> because they're like, they're too be like, much? Man. They're going to be like, that's too much. It's, yeah. it's an overload on one side. Nobody's going to watch the East. No well, there was a big overload in Golden State for a while, yeah. right? Well, it is still, you know. Yeah. So, but I don't, I don't think KD and LeBron could play together. They're not going to do that. Huh. I think they could. They play All-Star, they play in the Olympics. Yeah, but the, the, the Eagles are a little too big. They're not going to share it like that. I mean, I mean, KD seems to be, I mean, he went, to, for him to do what he did by going to Golden State. Right. Let you know that, you know, he's willing to swallow some of his pride because he was joining a team that won 73 games the year before he got there. And the guy, they had a two-time MVP. So he, to go there, you have to be willing to know the blowback that you're going to get now. Right. Well, like I said, you can go over there to Golden State because Steph Curry is with Under Armour. Two Nike heads ain't going the same place like that. Not two mm. big wigs. Mm. Well, what if he tries to come over to the old, old Triple B's? Triple B's? He ain't good enough. Whoa, 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 whoa. KD? KD. You know what Triple B's are? The Ball Brothers. That's enough. That's our big three. Mm. So that's so hey. no, nobody else. Nobody else. Man, you're trying to make money or what? I ain't trying. I am. Don't you tell me? <laughs> okay, so do the hypothetical. Let's just say your number one son is the point guard, and on one wing he's got LeBron, and on the other he's got Kevin Durant. Do they win at all? No. They got to trade Kevin Durant and put in LeAngelo Ball. Ugh. Then you win it all. You buying that? <laughs> I'm not buying that. <laughs> yeah, I'll play on that team. Yeah, I bet you would. Sure. Yeah. Seriously, what I'm if it seriously. happens? It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. But you, you, you can't give Lonzo the best player in the game and don't expect him to win because he's going to make LeBron better. People how? Be looking at how? Mm -hmm. That's just what Lonzo does. He makes everybody better. So whoever's on the team going to be better. Look what he did with the Lakers. Kyle Kuzma, he went to Utah. You ain't never heard of him. Lonzo, he played with Lonzo. Now he's a rookie of the year. Brandon Ingram had his best year ever. Julius Randle had his best year ever. Lonzo wasn't there before them two or three years. They didn't do nothing. All the folks that went to UCLA, do you hear about them now? No, because they found that they can't play. Took away Lonzo. Now you don't hear about TJ Leaf. You don't hear about EK. You don't hear about nobody. Mm. Yet I've heard several scenarios, and there are a lot of scenarios on the table because it's become hysteria where the LeBron sweepstakes. Right. That would include your number one son getting traded from the Lakers in a sign and trade to acquire Paul George or who knows, maybe Kevin Durant in a sign mm. and trade. Yeah. Have you heard those? Have you? Uh, no, I haven't heard yeah. those. I'm too busy getting water and doing the JBA. <laughs> okay. So I ain't listening to no little stuff on the side like that. That's baby weight. All right. So talk me through this. I have been the biggest fan of your number one son, mm -hmm. but he was perplexing to me. We talked about this earlier on the show this year as a rookie because he would come and he would go in his aggression, his assertiveness. And there were times I just couldn't recognize him. Like he was unplugged. He was disconnected and I couldn't figure it out. And I fought for him and I supported him, but I want your view of why did his aggression sort of come and go from night to night? Uh, aggression, it was always the same. They got to figure him out. He's trying to figure them out on the fact that going up all through his life, he's always played the whole game. So the I, in and out, and when he's sitting there, how you can take control yeah. of the game, mm -hmm. and he know how to win. Yeah. But if you keep pulling him down and putting him back in the last five or six minutes, when he's just like, whatever y'all want to do. You got these guys taking the wrong shots at the wrong time. 
because Luke He's Walton's pattern was he yes. would play him six minutes yes. and then he would sit him for and then, the rest of the first quarter and some of the second quarter, like, right? Like, like I said to Luke, you know, he's, you know, the excuse was the, the kids were young. But I was thinking to myself, too, also the coaching is young. So you got to take part of that blame. Right. Now, until you find out who's your guy, you're not going to flow. So I knew I was going to get the, the flashback of saying, Oh, well, he's lost the team. You, you Two did. things happen when that happened. Either everybody going to jump off the ship, they're going to bring somebody else in, or everybody going to band together. And as you see, everybody band together, and then he start going to the sideline, and Lonzo's his guy now. But if you don't know if Kyle Kuzman's your guy, yeah. Brandon Ingram, Julius Randle, Lonzo, Clarkson, it's too many people you're trying to please instead of having one general. And until you find out who that general is and you can bring him to the side and high five him, say good job, instead of everybody walking by you. When I told him, I saw nobody, I say he lost a team when nobody comes out the game and you don't high five or you don't stop at the coach yeah. or nothing. You lost that team until you start, they come to you and say, okay, well, we're going to do this and then go to that. So you're saying he regained the team? He regained the team on the fact that they banded together because they said, hey, the Lakers, is, and that's where they start winning the second half. He started playing Lonzo a lot more and finishing games. So now everybody knows, okay, this is the guy. Just like when you had the Chicago Bulls, you got a lot of talented players, but Jordan is this guy that sent all the stuff down, Scottie Pippen, everybody. So that's the same thing that started happening at the end when Lonzo was okay. there. And just like I was telling him about getting him hurt, you, you, you got him going 100 miles an hour, then you shut him down. 100 miles an hour, then you shut him down. It's tearing his body up. Right. And you're doing this rubber band training to, to strengthen him that's not going to get it. They weren't running heels no more, lifting no pig iron. Mm. You know, he wasn't playing durations of the game. Like I was telling him, if you don't want to kill him, how about you just let him play the last quarter and watch him win? You got 12 minutes. Up 20 or down 20, he's going to go get it. So you want, you want Lonzo to lift weights, like old school weights, like you were brought like, up like, lifting. Like, like, like I was doing with him. Right. That's how, when I brought him to him, he was never hurt. He was always healthy because he was doing this. He stuff can't run heels during the season, though, uh, LeVar. Why not? LeVar, he can't run no heels during the season and play 82 games. Why not? Because it's never been done before. Exactly. And you're asking to get and that, hurt. And that's how you get to be the best player in the world. You sound like that Lithuanian coach now. <laughs> no. You want to save your legs. And that's why you lost so much, because they never conditioned themselves. You can condition yourself, but you can't run heels. Why? Like, that's the offseason to get you ready for the season, LeVar. Why? Well... I would recommend. I run all day. You go to Africa and you run over rivers, all kind of stuff. Yeah, but that's all they do is run. Yes, legs never hurt. Condition your legs so you can run forever. No, LeBar, you and I both know the amount of minutes that you want Lonzo to play and what you want him to, how you want him to train is unrealistic. I get it. You want him to play 40 minutes I'm a night. I'm an unrealistic guy. Can't you tell? Mm. You can't get no big ball of brand in no water without being realistic. Well, you unrealistic. Want, you you did what a lot of people thought you couldn't yeah. do. But a lot of people like 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 this. Look at all the guys that come in the league, man. You got your Kobe and your, your Jordans. They come in here skinny. Yeah. Yeah. They don't, they're not used to lifting weights. All my family, as soon as we hit 12, it's like a religion. We hit that iron. Mm. But he go he gonna grow. Grow, run, just like lifting weights, you can do some running. I ain't saying you gotta run like a wild man. Yeah. But you can do some sprints up some hills, man. Keep your legs toned, ready to go. Yeah, you got to do. I mean, do a little. little we've been doing that. Press. We've been doing that all the time when they was playing in high school. Same thing. People's like, "Oh, you you running not now? Oh, we're gonna go run, and guess what? When we hit that flat land, we're gonna run like deers. But your legs gonna be strong." Mm -hmm. So, so let's you, let's talk about the shot. You have defended the unconventional shot yes, of Lonzo. You yes. saw him do it right away, and you said that's just how it's going to be. Right. And he made 41% of his threes at UCLA, mm -hmm. and it came and it went last year. He had some surges, and he wound up at 31%, which is not good enough. But worse than that, he shot 45% from the free throw line. Mm -hmm. Indefensible, can't be, can't happen. you, you right. got to correct that, and I'm sure he is working uh, on that. Working on it is... is he, he can do it, you know. A good shot is your shot, however it is. Yeah, I agree with that. your best shooters, I don't think none of them shoot the same. Jamal Wilkes, chef. I know, yeah. Bob McAdoo, Larry Bird on the side mm -hmm. of his face. It was. Reggie yeah. Miller's a push shot. Mm -hmm. So perfect your shot is good. Mm -hmm. The free throw thing is easy, too. Uh, Lonzo can shoot them free throws, but like I said, as far as coaching, they don't know how to coach him, and they're learning. And as I'm getting older, sometimes you've got to be a little more stern on Zoe, which is 
they, they're taking the easy approach because we don't. He's our rookie. You don't want to. You don't want to tamper with. They him. can't coach him like you, cause you they his dad. That ain't got nothing to do with. It. If I give, him, I say, you know what? That might be not be their demeanor on how to coach him. Right. Which is, don't say, well, Lonzo, you just got to put in the repetitions. Everything's gonna be. You got to be more forceful. Like God. Dang it, go in there and make these, stop messing with get to the, I, That's how I, <laughs> yeah, exactly. you're going to play, play. If you're not, sit Seriously. your tail down. I, I, and that's, I'm not sure. He, he, train, he, he works I'm better I'm not sure that. any coach will ever get the max out of Lonzo or any of your sons that oh, you could get. Exactly. Right. Okay? And that's so, why I try to give them a little pointers to say, yo, you got to be a little I mean, more. You, I ain't saying you got to cut them out or nothing I, like I'm not. I'm not facetious. Uh -huh. do, do you want to coach the Lakers at some point? Would you? Would you? Would I coach the Lakers? The only way I coach the Lakers is all three of my boys was there. And I turn the NBA upside down because I do something that never been done before. But I you, press the whole game. <laughs> but you can't coach. Well, but you here's the thing, though. You got your three boys, but yes. you got 12 other players also I've that you can't coach. that. And all but, I got to do is make sure I coach them three to blend with everybody else. Like when I, when I set rules, when you're at the head of a company, I ain't going to go and talk to everybody. I'm going to talk to the main guys to relay the message down. And they supposed to make them flow. <laughs> Uh-oh. Would you do this? Seriously. What? Would you coach the Lakers? Would, if you were offered the job, the would Lakers. you do it? I would coach the Lakers. Only if all three of my boys is there. Okay. If they not, then it would only be for one year because uh, I had to show them how good I am, then I'm out. Back to the then big you want to force them. So big what, to the big baller brand. What happens if, let's just say for the sake of argument, Jello gets drafted and it's not by the Lakers? Okay. Now, like I said, I want all my boys in the NBA. My preference is for all of them to play on the Lakers. Uh, They've had the most success playing together. They, Can they have maximum success without playing with each other? No. What the hell? I mean, the Single, Lamar. Singly, they're good. Together, great. But All there's three a, of them unbeatable. But there's a, there's a possibility. That's not gonna, I understand what you're saying, but there's a possibility that all three will not be playing together. And there's a possibility that all three of them will be playing together. Because as much money as I'm going to make, I might go buy my own team, go scoop them all up. Mm. In the NBA? That's the only place you can get a team. Yeah, hold on. You, you, what, you, what, you, what you got going on there? Big you don't think these triple Bs, you know what they stand for? Billions? Billion, billion, and billion. 